Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. Happy Vlogmas Day 10, I think. I think today's the 10th. I'm not sure. But happy Vlogmas. Uh, it is 7.50 right now. I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm also going to eat a donut because we still have some donuts from Duncan. And those are my favorite donuts. But look over here, you guys. LV Bell. I think she wants to bake some cookies. She's sitting on my stand mixer right there. LV Bell, are you gonna help us make brookies? We're gonna make them tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, let me get my creamer so I can start with my start making my coffee. For today's coffee mug, let's go with this one. Super cute. Warm winter wishes. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I just remembered. So we get our water delivered from Alhambra. They usually come every two weeks and we usually get two well sometimes we get one but we usually get two big bottles i think they're like five gallon are they five gallons i'm not even sure but we usually get delivery every two weeks but since it's the holidays they're coming tomorrow and then that's it they're not coming for another month so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask for i might ask for four bottles they're not gonna come because I guess the next delivery day was technically supposed to be Christmas but of course they're not gonna deliver on Christmas and then the next Wednesday after that is New Year's Day so they're not gonna deliver that day so they're coming on January 8th so I think I might need four well actually probably just three because we have one right now so I think I'm gonna ask for three but the empty I mean the bottle that I have right now in our dispenser is almost empty so I'm trying to empty that out so I can give it back to them because if you don't give it back to them you get charged like a deposit and you won't get your deposit back they'll credit you back when you return the bottle so yeah I think I need to try to empty that out actually I already filled this with water today's creamer is going to be butter toffee again because I'm trying to finish this one since I have a new one in the refrigerator last week flew by so quickly and I feel like this week is gonna be a slow week I don't know why but I can just feel it I feel like it's gonna be a super slow week actually for some reason yesterday I thought it was Friday and it was only Monday so good okay so let me get my donut I'm gonna eat that at my desk while I work and enjoy my coffee I got my donut. This one is strawberry frosted with sprinkles. Strawberry donuts are my absolute favorite. I, I love them. If I go to a donut shop and they have strawberry frosted, that's always what I get. They're so good. I'm gonna start on dinner right now. It is still pretty early, but I just wanna get it done and you know get it out of the way. So I'm making bistec today, which is Filipino beef steak. If you guys saw yesterday's video, I already prepared the meat. I have it marinating in here. This is actually ribeye steak. I cut it into strips, and it's marinating in minced garlic, soy sauce, and lemon juice, and uh, some freshly cracked black pepper. So that is ready to go. And then I have two onions here that I sliced into rings. So I like to cook the onions a little bit before I cook the meat. Uh, you don't really have to. You could just add the onions at the end. But I just like to give it a head start. So I always cook the onions first. The onions are done. I removed the onions. And now I have the meat in here with the marinade. And then I also added some water. So I'm just going to bring this to a boil and then just let, the, let it simmer until it's done. I also want to make myself a second cup of coffee. So here we go. Let me just do eight ounces actually because I still have a little bit in there, but I wanted to add more. The bistec is done. So once the meat was cooked, I just added the onions back in and that's it, it's done. And with this meat, it didn't take very long to cook because it's a better quality meat. So we don't really need to cook it that long. Like we're not trying to, you know, tenderize the meat. So anyways, bistec is done. 
So we are getting ready to head out uh, to go to AJ's winter concert. And this is my outfit for tonight. This was the best that I could come up with. Um, especially because it's cold outside. I didn't want to wear a... Um, like a sleeveless blouse. I just want to be warm and I think this looks okay. So I'm wearing this sweater I got at Old Navy and then I'm wearing my black jeans also from Old Navy and then I'm going to wear my Ugg boots because it's cold outside. So that's my outfit for tonight. And we already had dinner. AJ had dinner earlier. He had his dinner at 4 o'clock because I had to drop him off at the school at 5. It's not at his school. It's at a different um, high school in our area. So I had to drop him off there. Well, he had to be there before 5, so um, we left here at like 4.40. <laughs> Getting ready to go on the stage for senior recognition. Daddy's, Daddy was already crying earlier. Oh. Next, Anthony San Antonio. Band for four years. You just told me. Jazz band too. Jazz band for three years. You just told me, I already forgot. <laughs> Instruments for trumpet. Escorted by mom Melissa, dad Ariel, and sister Vanessa. Two more, right? Three more. Yeah, three more. Thank you. Next, we have Marissa and Najima.
You guys were so good. Nice. I really loved. Oh, let me turn the, the light down. I really loved how you guys did the field show. They were spread around the whole auditorium, the whole room. I think I went deaf a little bit in one ear. But you guys are really good. Thanks. And I got to hear Sleigh Ride for the last time. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's good. It was a good one. Oh, you guys. Mm, I got my DNA test you guys and I already opened it so let me um, I'll, sh I'll tell you guys what my DNA test says horrible angle I know but I'm too lazy to set up the camera so okay so my DNA test you guys if you guys don't know I took an ancestry DNA test because I wanted to know exactly what my ethnicity was I mean obviously I'm half Filipino and half white but I wasn't very sure what the white side was um, and a little bit of this, I, I was actually surprised with a little bit of it, but I kind of knew most of it. Okay, so, it says 48% Philippines, and then 34% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. So that was, like, surprising to me. And then this is another one that surprised me. I'm 12% Germanic Europe. So I always kind of thought I was, like, Irish and Scottish, and then... <laughs> Come to find out, I'm only 3% Ireland and Scotland, and then 1% Sweden, 1% China, and 1% Vietnam. So, I don't know where that came from, but I guess I'm mostly, well, half Filipino, and then English and German. So, I've been telling people the wrong thing all my life. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that's my ethnicity, you guys. Filipino, English, and German. All right, everyone, it is that time again. Everyone's favorite time. What is it? Time to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. You were supposed to say it's time to go to sleep, like Dora.